However, during such a long war, there is no end to the advances of aggressors. After making countless concessions, Avria lost all of her lands, until only one small haven remained. No. No! It can't be so! In her last days, she had not even a single blade to defend her people with. Not even a single blade? Then... this sword... This sword is not a relic belonging to the God of Salt, but is instead the murder weapon used to kill her. Murder weapon? No! That's not true! That can't be true! You're trying to test my faith in the God of Salt! As I said before, I only state the facts. Preposterous! You, you are a follower of Morax! Don't try to trick me! Hey! Hey! Come back! It is a punishment after all. I did not want to tell her such cruel facts. But the contract was broken. Let's follow her deeper into the ruin. There, I fear, we will find something that will leave her no choice but to face the truth. What are all these? What did they see? What did they do? What... what happened? Since you do not trust me, let us continue onward. That which lies beyond this door will show you all that happened back then. This is the scene of the crime. Havria's body dissipated, leaving nothing but these traces of salt. Her dying moments have since been frozen in time to this very day. <sighs> the story continues that some among her people realized at last that this gentle, kind, but weak god could never protect anyone in wartime. The Archon War was cruel in the extreme, Instead of consigning her to the agony of defeat, they thought perhaps it would be better to give her a quick release. But... what about these statue thingies? No matter how weak the god, the power that flows forth when they are slain is beyond the strength of mortal coils to bear. Those who could not flee were thus transformed. Those of her people who were untouched by this disaster left for Lyue, where they sought refuge with Rex Lapis. Their descendants feared Havria's remnants and lived in terror that she had laid upon them an eternal curse. So they risked their lives to come here, to break the sword and offer up obeisances in hopes that her anger might be appeased. But they need not have done so. For how could a god who had never once resisted, even till the end, nurse hatred for her people in her heart? Uh, I... Even if this is so, I can't! This must be a lie. A false history, all of it! Don't you dare try to shake my faith! Yikes! Xiang Li didn't show any mercy this time either. This is the price she must pay. Yet I would not call it a bad thing. Judging by how she appeared, I fear that she will struggle for a time. But even if she may not escape that struggle immediately, Simply recognizing the truth is good enough for now. Indeed, in ages past, 
Havria's story served as a warning to me as well. Faith in a god who has already passed will do you no good. So it is for Havria. And so it is for Morax also. All right then. Now, would you like to accompany me in taking a trip to Guyan Stone Forest? Huh? What do you want to do, Zhongli? <sighs> Treading old ground. Telling old stories. One cannot help but be reminded of old acquaintances. Now, I mentioned before that many gods of old have been sealed beneath the Guyan Stone Forest. The Adepti have presently handed Leo over to mortals, and Havria's time was even further in the past. The Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler that she left behind should not return to Leo. To leave them here is to let them slumber. And it is also a homecoming. I ended an era with my own two hands. I've always wondered how I should remember that which I ended. History records, but history may be changed. This incident proved that. Time is a mighty force, and histories twist in its flow. I need to find a better way of recording history in order to engrave its truth. Stone carvings were one such ancient method, but unchanging stone, immovable earth, even one such as myself. Someday we may all disappear. Zhongli... Therefore, I thought of you, Traveler. You are one who crosses the Celestial Atlas and who passes through countless worlds. If our history is engraved in your memory, it will one day accompany you into another world. As long as a traveler like you is able to record what happened, then a backup of sorts will exist for times and time. Uh, sounds like tough work. Now then, it is time that we consigned both the Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler to the sea. Huh? Why do we need to throw them into the sea? As I said before, this is the place to which the remnants of many bygone gods are consigned. This includes Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who the Jade Chamber most recently returned to this ocean prison. Thousands of years ago, the Adepti and I fought against the turmoil that plagued every corner of this land. Guyan Stone Forest, where I sealed many gods with my spears. After so long, naught but folk tales remain. Oh, Sile, you and I were foes. But our ancient grudge is but a bygone memory now. <sighs> May that which Havria has left behind be yours to subsume. <sighs> and thus another spark of divinity departs from Liyue. My legacy shall now be left to those who come after to debate. <laughs>